So recently an incredible limestone shell slab from the Green River Formation in USA has captured a mass of 257 fish swimming together in a school. Each of the fish just under 2.5 cm long that belonged to an extinct species. Just before being fossilized they were swimming in the same direction. Swimming together in a school is a dynamic process and this slab amazingly preserves in freeze frame as it were discoordinated collective motion. Such discoveries are rare. As pointed out in the New York Times, it is difficult for instance to find evidence of schooling fish in the fossil record. You need just the right circumstances to fossilize something like a school of fish in place within a rock. Then that rock has to survive intact long enough for a paleontologist to discover it and study it. While the study did not conclusively give an answer as to how the fish were fossilized, the authors suggest that rapid fixation of the fish shoal might be possible by sand dune collapse and shallow water, which can produce a bed in only seconds or minutes. It is clear that they recognized the fish school fossilization absolutely requires a rapid process. Roy Plotnik, a paleontologist at the University of Illinois at Chicago said, I've never seen this kind of preservation. I can't picture a three-dimensional school of fish sinking to the bottom and maintaining all their relative positions. That makes no sense to me. Yet people who don't want the uncomfortable implications of rapid processes entombing the fish have been forced to come up with similar nonsensical ideas. For example, one commenter stated, More than likely what happened is the fish got trapped in an isolated pool as the waters receded. Then, as the pool dried out, the fish all died. What wasn't taken by predators was covered by layers of dirt and mud over the millennia, and thus lead this fossil. Of course, the problems with this suggestion are fairly clear from even a cursory view of the fossil slab. There is no way that the fish would be facing the same direction in a tight oblonged school formation if they were slowly asphyxiated in a pool. Instead, they would have been flopping around to try and remain in the dampest parts of the puddle, and there would likely be signs of predation too. The paper demonstrated that immediately before the oblong-shaped school was entombed in the lime-rich sediment, they were actively swimming together. From measuring the fish's position and orientations, the team were able to show they were following the rules of attraction and repulsion in relation to the other fish around them, to avoid bumping into each other, that schools of fish abide by today. This incredible group self-organization swimming together in the same direction in one fluid formation is called schooling. It is the capturing of this motion that means the fossil was formed quickly and thus by implication the rock also. The scientific team also highlighted a number of other fascinating examples of what they call frozen behaviors in fossils. Examples include fighting dinosaurs, queuing trilobites and insects in copulation. These fossils are assumed to result from rapid burial, which preserves individual positions during interactions, and this is completely contrary to the uniformitarian slow and gradual paradigm. Quick forming fossils contained inside the rapidly formed layers of sedimentary rock consistently point to one thing. The sedimentary rock layers that we see all around the world are not millions of years old. While evolutionary paleontologists see the Green River Formation as a continuous record of 6 million years worth of slow geological processes, these fossilized fish captured mid-swimming requires a different interpretation, one which bears testimony to flood conditions. The origin of the Green River Formation is debated by flood geologists, but whether it was created during Noah's flood or in an energetic hydraulic post-flood event, they all agreed that millions of years was not necessary for this formation. This well-preserved body of fish only serves to school us that the rocks and fossils around us were formed rapidly and fit perfectly, well within the biblical time frame of only 6,000 years. Thanks for watching everyone, and may you all have a blessed day.